Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to follow on from the things that we did in the previous video with the simulation. We're just trying to organize the results in a bit of a better way. So I've made a new file here called ma underscore result dot pi. You can see I've defined a class called ma result and we have an initialization here where we take in a trades data frame, a pair name, and some parameters we might have used for the test. So along with the definition here I want to create a function that's going to be called def result ob. And what this function is going to do, it's going to return an object that we'll define as D. And this is going to have some properties inside that we need to be able to analyze the results of our trades. So we'll have the pair, we'll have the num trades, the total gain, the mean gain, the minimum gain, and the maximum gain. So we have our objects here with the keys and values. We'd like also to add in the keys and values that we have inside our params. So let's do that. So we'll say for key and value in self.params.items. And then we'll set that D for the given key is equal to a value. And finally, we'll return D. So that's all we need to do for the result class. And we can now head back into ma underscore sim.py. The first thing I'm going to do in run is change this to the pound and the yen again from the Swiss franc. And now right at the top of the file, we want to import our MA result. And now down inside the evaluate pair, rather than returning just the sum of the game from DF trades, we actually want to return a result. So we'll type return MA underscore result dot MA result, open brackets, and DF trades is equal to DF trades, pair name is equal to I underscore pair dot name. And the parameters are MA short, is MA short and MA long, MA long. Okay then, so from this function we'll be returning a new MA result. So what I'd like to eventually do is actually save the results in an Excel file. And to do this we need to create some kind of table to represent our results. So down here in run you can remember that we're just taking the result and then trying to calculate what the best was. We want to change this a little bit now so we can remove all of this stuff here. And instead what we want is an array called, or a list called results. And we're going to store our result objects inside here. So down where we're evaluating the pair, we can remove this best code here, and we can remove actually the print line here. We don't need anything. And instead what we're going to do is we're going to say that we'll take our results list, and we will append the result that's returned from evaluate pair. So when our test is finished, our results list will be full of these MA result objects. And now what I want to do is turn those into a data frame. So to do that, we'll write a new function. So just above run, we're going to make def process results, and that takes in results. So we know that our argument here is a list of the result class. And what we need to make a data frame is we need to have these results in object format, so as a dictionary like this, that we can then convert into a data frame. The first thing we'll do is use list comprehension to make ourselves a list of results that are in this dictionary or object format. So we'll say that results list is equal to open square brackets and r dot result ob for r in results. And that gets us our list of results, and it's a list of the objects that are returned here, so this d. Next thing to do is to convert those into a data frame. So we'll say final data frame is equal to pd.dataframe.fromdict and in the brackets results list. And now just to check this has worked, we'll print finaldf.info and finaldataframe.head. And last but not least, all we need to do down inside the end of the run function here is process our results. Now, if I've made any typing errors, you're probably shouting at the screen already. I don't know. I'm going to run this in the console. If it doesn't work, I'll come back and we'll be fixing my errors. If it does work, then I'll see you with the results of this in the console. Okay, so here we are in the console. Uh, it looks like it did work because I've run it once already just to have a, a quick check. So if I run Python, actually, I'm going to zoom out a tiny bit here first. If I run Python masim.py, we now get the sim running as expected, and you can see now that what we get is a data frame that tells us that we've got 17 rows. So we tried out 17 combinations, and we can see the, the column names we've got there. And now we can see that we've got in the first row the pound yen, 153 trades, the gain, the mean gain, the minimum gain, the max gain, and the short and long that produce this. So now we have the ability to process our results and store them in some kind of format, which is good for analysis. In the next video, we'll be back in a notebook and we'll have a look at some of the things that we might want to do. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video.